There's, there's a lot of techniques from, uh, that I use from body language reading to nonverbal communication to ESP to uh, understanding how people are thinking. It's not that I can uh, know what people are thinking, it's, it's that I know how people are thinking. And by doing this, I know how to manipulate people's minds and do very interesting things with it. Principles of underground psychology and uh, nonverbal communication and um, understanding how I know, I know the process of thinking. I'm a real life uh, mentalist, mind reader, working with people's minds. I'm not a magician, I'm not an illusionist. I understand how people think. Uh, again, these are not. These are not illusions and these are not tricks we're going to try to do. Hello nieces and nephews, it's your wise uncle. Today we are finding out how can master mentalist Leo Sushard influence a whole crowd into drawing the same thing. Sounds impossible, right? He must have used some serious mind influence techniques to do this. Well, as always, I will show that it could be done with regular magic tricks and that it's even probably the case here. Let's watch two examples first. Can you show us what you did? Oh, oh, boo. I don't believe that. How did you, you do all that? You all drew a cloud. Turn your drawings now. Look at this. Wait. No. Look at this. Oh, my, I am in shock. But Whoa. They all drew the same thing. How? Don't worry, we will get there. First, let's look at what was, according to Sushad himself, the influencing part. I would draw uh, like the Superman sign because yep. I love Superman. I might draw like a, like a cross or something like that. A strange looking mountain is a good idea. Like a rabbit or something like that. I mean, uh -huh. everybody can draw different stuff. Okay, so he drew some drawings. Interesting. How can that influence all of them to draw a star out of all things? Well, it seemed to make this dude this dude and that woman draw a star. Even the band did it. The whole crowd draw a star. And what do you know? Even the host draw the same star. Let's see how Sushard explains the influence he did. The way I did it was a subtle influencing because this is not, this is not a Superman sign. This is an S. This is not a cross, this is a T. <gasps> this is not a mountain, this is an A. And this is not a rabbit, it's an R upside down, which gives us a star, which is exactly what you thought of. <laughs> he spelled star with his drawings. That is sure enough to get 100% of the people to draw the same star, I guess. That's a great example of something that could only be achieved by master mentalist's influence, right? I mean, not everyone can draw letters on cardboards like he did. That is an amazing skill. Maybe his voice and handwriting are unique? Nah, you know I'm kidding. Of course it could be done with tricks. But before we get to the solution, it would be great if you guys could like and subscribe to my channel. So that's the solution. Before the show, the performer meets with the whole crowd. He then asks them to choose freely between a number of cards while using regular magician's techniques to force a specific card to their hands. They think they chose a random card. What really happened is that the performer slipped the same card to all of them. And that is the card they are all going to draw. What? What are you talking about? That's nonsense. Yeah, 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 I know how it sounds. I'm sure that whoever saw my previous episode doesn't think it's unlikely, right? In the previous episode, which was how to guess names of first love, a link is in the description, we virtually proved that Leo Sushard meets with the participants before the show where he asks them to write the name down and then he performs magician's techniques to get that information. Then when the show starts, he asks the participants did you tell me the name? In which the answer is no, because they didn't. He doesn't ask, did we meet before the show? Or did I ask you to write anything down? They would answer yes to this question. But lucky for us, some of the participants still managed to say what really happened. These are a few examples. Then I will ask you to do yours. Did you tell me anything or did we set it up and told you to tell me the name? It's 
You no. want me to tell you what you told me to do? No, but uh, let's say before the show, you got Laurel to write that, that same friend name. But, oh, I wasn't He didn't, near he didn't I see didn't it. We were all in the studio, and then you tore it up and, and pushed it to the oh, side. I destroyed it over there. Is that, and then you tore it up. And so Is I, that part of your working oh, it out? Well, it, it doesn't matter. Sometimes people write it out. Well, it, it doesn't matter. Sometimes people write it out. Sometimes. This is my most important video. You should all watch it. You can click at the top of the screen or on the link in the description. Okay, so we know for a fact that the performer meets with them before the show. But how can he make them choose the same card? There are literally dozens of ways to do it. One way is to use Sven cards or a Sven pad. This is me explaining how it works from the episode where Sushar got two hosts to choose a specific name from a notepad. Click at the top of the screen or on the link in the description to see that video too. A Sven pad is a gimmick notepad. Basically how it works is, if you pull it down in Riffle, you get different texts. If you pull it up in Riffle, you get the same text on every page. So the performer shows them that they can freely choose between all of the cards when in fact they don't choose. They are physically forced into the same card. Okay, okay, uncle. That is an explanation. How do you know it probably happened here? After the amazing reveal, the host goes down to the crowd and asks one of them, why did you choose to draw a cloud? Can you show us what you did? Oh, oh, oh boo. I don't believe that. How did you, you do all drew that? a cloud. How did a cloud come into your, into your head? It's a free choice. Well, it was a free choice. It was a free choice. Sushad quickly yells from the back and the participant repeats him. But what was the choice? Could he draw whatever his mind came up with? It's a free choice. Well, it was a free choice. He gave me a card to pick and I picked the card. You... Wait, 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 wait. What? Say that again? He gave me a card to pick and I picked the card. You... He gave me a card to pick, so I picked a card. I'm done. Nothing needs to be added here. But let's hear it again anyway. She gave me a card to pick and I picked the card. You... She gave me a card to pick and I picked the card. You... I'm sure Sushad will interrupt now and confront this delusional man, right? Card to pick and I picked the card. Have you ever drawn, drawn a cloud before? Never. No. What about you? <laughs> Have you ever drawn a cloud before? What about you? <laughs> Have you ever drawn a cloud before? No, huh? Nothing from Sushad? I guess it did happen, didn't it? Let's hear the questions Sushad asked them before the reveal. Did I tell you to draw something specific? Did we set something up before and I told you, hey, you're going to draw this and this so to make it work? No. Another question for everyone. Did anyone here tell me they're drawing what they're about to draw? No. Did I tell you what to draw? No. No. This is a free choice? Yep. From your own mind? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Can you please show me what you did? What? What is this? It's cloud. Did, did I ever tell you what to draw? Can you show me what you did? She gave me a card to pick and I picked the card. You... She gave me a card to pick and I picked the card. You... When they are asked, was that a free choice from your own mind? They answer yes. They don't know what trick was done on them, so they think their mind was responsible for the card they chose. The same goes for, did I tell you to draw something specific? They answer no, because they think they had a choice. It wasn't specific from their point of view. What would they answer if they were asked, could you draw whatever you wanted, or did you have to choose a card from a stack of cards? She gave me a card to pick, and I picked the card. You... We are about done with this one. I just want to go through a few other issues. When you think of drawing a star, when a person asks you to draw a star, you don't think of this. No one thinks of this. You think of this. Now that's a drawing of a star. Ask your friends to draw a star and tell me if they draw this or this. This is the results I got when I googled star outline icon. No inner lines inside the stars. Oh, and this is not an A anywhere. That's it. If you like this video, you should check out my other ones. We have accumulated enough videos to satisfy anyone's appetite with your sous shard. You can choose one from the ending screen of this video or by browsing my channel. You can also click on the bell icon so you will be notified about new videos, because I will upload a lot more videos just like this, showing how anyone can use tricks to pull off virtually any mentalist's trick 
done by the most famous mentalists in the world.